Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Anya and in today's video I will be showing you what I have shopped my stash for in December. I have filmed a pretty big declutter, I was hoping to get rid of 50 items and it ended up being 138. That will be up on Wednesday I believe. But today I wanted to show you the stuff that I want to wear and play with for December. There's going to be a lot of eyeshadow. December has always been a little bit of a difficult month for me. There is always a lot of stuff going on, a lot of family things. I also got sick in December nine years ago and it's made it a little bit difficult so I want to try and be easy on myself this year and just take it easy, rest and just try and enjoy it as much as possible. Therefore I have picked a lot of favourites and things to play with for makeup. And there's gonna be a lot. I have also slightly rearranged the drawers a little bit because I rearranged my bedroom and this desk part is now on the complete opposite side of the bed the room, so I think it's gonna be easier to have the little baskets over there and then I can ease more easily reach things on this side. But Smashbox Primer Water, it's a staple. I'm hoping to finish that. Unsure if I'm actually going to be able to or not, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Colourpop All Star Setting Spray. I really like it. I haven't used it this year though and I do want to. The foundation that I'm going to play with is going to be the BH Liquid Foundation. I haven't used it. It's in the shade Ivory. Um, and I want to just have one in here in case I feel like playing with the liquid foundation. NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in White. It's a staple. It always lives in the drawer. I have two primers. So I have the number 7 Airbrush Away Mini. I'm hoping to finish mine. Um, and I don't have much left and then I have the NYX Hydro Touch which I'm also hoping to finish and don't think this is going to happen in December but I might as well use it. I have my Makeup Mecca Green Colour Corrector. It always lives in the drawer. I do use it. I like it a lot. I have a mini Becca Under Eye Corrector here that I am still figuring out if I like or not so I want to have that here and then I have my trusted Tarte Shape Tape. I use the shade Fair. It's my favourite concealer so that lives in this drawer all the time pretty much. I also have my Makeup Mecca Powder Foundation. I use the shade Marshmallow. It's my go-to for when I want a quick easy base and I like this a lot. I have three powders for this month. So I have my Back to Hourglass one. This is Diffused Light. I have Ethereal Light which I have hit me to panel. And then I have the Makeup Mecca Highlighter in Halo Me, which I use as a luminous setting powder and I quite like it. These are just going to have to be stacked for a bit because I'm going to line them up that way, but I need more, otherwise everything is going to fall over. My bronzer is from number 7, it's their bronzer in Maple. It's my perfect tone for a bronzer, it's one of my favourites. I absolutely love it, so I want something that I know how it performs. And that is easy to use. I have five blushes this month, which is overkill, definitely. Three of them are going to be in a palette because they're singles. This is from Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. It's one of my more nude blushes, so it's a little bit more brown than what I usually wear. But I did want to have something more neutral this month because I'm going to be playing with colour for eyeshadow. And I don't think they're all going to work with my normal peach blush. I have Milani Dolce Pink, which is my favourite blush. I've worn the dome down on this. I love it. It's super sparkly and glittery. But I, I love this so much. I absolutely adore it. It is getting really old though, so I think I might have to either finish it or get rid of it soon, unfortunately. But it's one of the ones that I think I'm will probably repurchase because I like it that much. I have two Becca highlighters here. So I have the shade Pearl, which is a white. I am pale. You may have noticed by the shade names and things. And I like having a white highlighter in here for the winter months because I don't tan much during the summer, but I resemble a ghost during the winter. And having that is just gonna be something that I can use when I am at my palest to still have a glow that's not gonna look darker on my skin. Ooh, this was the wrong one. So I had misplaced my highlighters. This is Berlin Girl Glow, which was the one I wanted from Becca. I absolutely love it. Another one of my favorites and it has a little bit of like a beige undertone, but it's not too dark on my skin. So it just looks great. Another one in that family is Fenty Lightning Dust Fire Crystal. These are a little bit more beige, but one side is a little bit more like straight shine, the other has a little bit more like sparkle glitter in it. I love them, I like to pair them together. And I think this might be enough to try and stack them upright.
that works out pretty well. I do also have my trusted um, Makeup Mecca cream blush in here. It also pretty much lives in the drawer. It's one I use when I'm wearing a colour corrector instead of a foundation or if I'm just wearing concealer instead of like powder foundation. I like having the cream blush. I've completely fallen in love with cream cheek products this year. I like to always have it here even if I only wear it a couple of times a month. I like having it here nearby because I reach for it every time pretty much. I love that. I also decided to bring this in. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. Now these are too dark for me as a highlighter but I love mixing this into foundations when I want something that is a little glowy. So I think I'm going to have that in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not but I have been enjoying more of a glowy base recently. So I'm going to put it in here to play with and then I will see if I want to use it or not but it is also one that I do have to try and finish in the coming year. I'm just going to start filling up this little purple tub at the bottom here which holds my lip products. So my three Lisa Eldridge lipsticks in Velvet Morning, Velvet Jazz and Velvet Ribbon are coming here. They are staples for me. They are one of my favourite reds. They're just absolutely gorgeous. My two Marc Jacobs uh, liquid lip crayons are coming back. The plum one is smushed. These are extremely soft and prone to breaking because two of mine have broken. But these are the kind of colours that I like wearing at this time of year, so I want to have them here. I'm also bringing in three of my NYX Liquid Suede, so I have Soft Spoken, which is a brown, Peanut Brittle, which if I want to go for something more orange, and then Starstruck, which is a red. It looks kind of pink, but it reads like red on my lips. Fenty Stunner Lip Paints, I have Underdog, which is like a muted reddish dark brown. Haven't actually used it, that's what it looks like, and then of course Uncensored, a red. I'm planning on wearing a lot of red lipsticks this month because it is my favourite lip colour on me but it's also one that I don't use a lot because it tends to get a bit messy especially when eating and I don't leave the house much so I, find, I feel that it's often just a waste to put it on but it's my favourite lip colour to wear and I think it just looks amazing with anything. <laughs> I have kind of picked out most of my reds that are in like my favourite formulations for playful makeup that I enjoy putting on and enjoy wearing. So Snow White Red is from Besame part of their Snow White collection and it is again a beautiful beautiful red. Another one I wanted to play with and then I have my favourite nude which is Isadora Lip Sculptor in Bare Beige. It is also going to live here. I've chosen two glosses so I have Diamond Milk and Fenty Glow from Fenty. Along with getting more into cream cheek products I've also get, gotten more into lip gloss this year. I have a sheer red gloss in my project pan so I don't need to add that to that because I'm just going to use that one. But if I want something that is a little bit more natural. I have three lip liners. So I have the shade number 10 and number 8 from the Makeup Mecca Lip Liner on Point Range. 10 is red, 8 is like a reddish brown mauve colour. And then I have a clear lip liner. I usually wear red lipstick with a lip liner. So I always like having them here. I am, of course using the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. It's my favourite mascara. I only pretty much wear waterproof ones. I do love that one. NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Auburn. It's my favourite. Makeup Mecca Easy Peasy Brow Gel. I'm trying to use it up. I think I'm getting a little bit low on it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it this year. I then have a handful of eyeliners here. So I have Colourpop Mr. Bing if I want to go for a neutral. This is a brown shade. I have the Makeup Mecca Waterproof Smooth Eyeliner Pen in white, if I want a white one. And then I have Linda Hallberg Anger Mood Crayon, it's a red. I also have Calm Mood and Daring Mood. Calm is green, Daring is purple. Um, and I also have the NYX Slide On in Pretty Violet, which is absolutely amazing. I then have these four which are like glittery eye toppers. I almost forgot to pick one but if there is ever a time to put sparkle all over your eyes it's now. Three of these are Stila Glitter and Glows, two eyeshadows. I have Diamond Dust which is the most amazing silvery sparkle one. It is absolutely gorgeous and I have Plum On which is a purple. Not quite as intense but I am going to bring purple eyeshadow in here so I wanted something. And then I have this as a highlighter in Painted Lady. It's a little bit more neutral. It's kind of like a brown base with a green and gold and pink glitter. And then I have this Makeup Mecca Eye Top Coat in Make a Wish, which is a light pink. It goes on almost completely sheer and like translucent in colour. 
but it has a bunch of multi-chrome glitters like yellow, pink, blue, green, purple, gold, silver. It's incredible. It just adds things to the eye look without necessarily making it pink. I don't think I've ever been able to properly show off how beautiful this is, but I'm going to try. So excuse me for a second. So I have zoomed you in and there you can kind of see that it catches the light. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to actually see all of the colours in the glitters but it is one of my favourites. Then for eyeshadow and I have gone overboard because I always do. I have a palette of singles here. So I have chosen kind of traditional Christmas colours. So I have purples, this is clear in a stencil, Sydney Grace as if. Colourpop Try Me, these two are from the VH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. That is Clear in a Blaze, that's Clear in a Foiling, this is from Soap and Glory, um, Clear in a Trefoil, I think that is Colourpop Conjure Up, Sydney Grey's Thrilled, that is from the BH Zodiac palette, Colourpop Hop On, Colourpop Easy Go, and Colourpop Pinky Promise, I think. But green, purple and red. I think it's fairly obvious why, but I'm just, I'm drawn to these specific eyeshadows. I have already used the purple and the green for, in this palette for a look. You will see that in Sunday's video, because I wore that look when I went baking. And I loved it, so I brought them here because I, there's a chance I'm going to recreate those looks more than once. These three here are just blushes that came in a NYX palette. I don't remember which palettes they came in, but it's a very light peach, a little bit of a darker, more muted peach, and this is like a bronzer on me. They are very, very beautiful. As you can see, my depotting skills weren't great on the bottom ones. Uh, but they are more neutral blushes, which is why I wanted them. Because even though I have the um, the Charlotte Tilbury blush, that does still pull a little bit pink on me sometimes. So having something like those which tend to pull more brown than they do pink, I'm not sure if you can tell, um, is going to be something that I can like mix into them. Another Christmas favourite palette for me is the Linda Halberg Metallic Mysteries 2. It has a gorgeous red, um, which is called Arcturus, which they all have a blackened base, so they just, they are gorgeous, and you can apply them wet, and they just, they pop. You've got Draco, which is a green, you've got Epsilon, which is a brown, it's really pretty. And then Collision, it's the most incredible sparkly gold topper you can put on anything. I think I've worn this palette for the last like two Christmases and I'm just, I am always in love. Excuse my eczema, eczema patch, but they are just, they're gorgeous. My final three items in here are all Anastasia palettes. So Subculture and Prism was in here last month. This is what subculture looks like. I really like the muted tones in here. I love most of the shades. Uh, minus really the four on the left side. So Cube, Dawn, Roxy and Electric. Roxy and Electric don't really show up on me. Sorry, Cube and Electric, but I don't really care for the other two. Love the other shades though. They are absolutely gorgeous. And the, this is like my neutral palette this month along with Prism. It has very similar shades, it has more shimmers, but it's a little bit darker, a little bit more muted. I don't like Lucid, Eden or Unity, which is the top three shades from the left. The rest I'm okay with, and this has some browns for me if I want browns, because I've been enjoying the browns and like the neutrals in this palette a lot. And then I have Jackie Aina, which I used for the holidays last year, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll probably be using mostly like Wigglies, Shookington, Big Wig, the purple and the red, but this again has some more neutrals that I will absolutely utilise. I really enjoy these three palettes. I like the colours in them, I like the formulations. I am excited to play with them. If you think this was a bit overkill with the eyeshadows, you're not wrong. It is absolutely a lot of eyeshadows and definitely some overlapping here. But as I said, I wanted to pick products that I want to play with and that is hopefully going to make this month a little bit easier to get through. And if I ever feel like I need a little bit of an escape or just to have 
something to take my mind off it. I can go into this straw and see products that I like and just have fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me down below what makeup items you are going to be using and playing with in December. And I hope you're having a safe day and I will, I will see you soon. Bye!